Iga Swiatek versus Madison Keys is the first semi-final for the Madrid Open for 2024. And both players have a battle to get to this stage. Keys enter the tournament as the number 18 seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. The second round, she take on Bagu, and after a couple of tie breaks, we'll get through in straight. 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. In the third round, she take on Samson Over, the number 15 seed, who had just taken out Osaka in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straight. 6-2, six, 6-3. Six, in the fourth round, she take on Goff, who had been super impressive so far this week. And this was a battle. After dropping the second set, Keys would fight back to win. 7-6, seven, Six four six six four to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Keys would take on the number eight seed Jabur, who'd been in really good form this week. And after going down the first set six love, she'd fight back to win love six seven five six one to get to the semifinals. Shvianta entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Wong, but she'd get through easily six one six four. In the third round, she'd take on the twenty seven seed Castaya, and again an easy win from Shvianta, getting through in straights six one six one. In the fourth round, she'd take on Tormo, who had beaten Svetlina and Azarenka to get to this stage. And this is the easiest match so far with Fiontech getting through in straights again. 6-1-6 love to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontech would take on Adaj Maya, the 11th seed, who had just beaten Sakari in the previous round. And after going down the first set, would fight back to win. 4-6-6 six, six, love 6-2 six, to advance to the semifinals. These two have played three times before with Fiontech leading 2-1 in their head-to-head, -head, but they haven't played for a couple years. And the last time they did play in Cincinnati, Keys got the win in a massive upset during Fiontech's biggest season so far. So it'll be interesting to see if Keys can remember how she beat Shviontek that day. They have also played on a clay court, which was back in 2021, where Shviontek got the win. So we'll see if the faster Madrid surface helps Keys in any way. Keys is going to win this one. She's a play much better in the first set than she did against Jabur. Against Jabur, she was like six love, two love down. Lost eight games in a row until she started to come back. Jabur started to lose that momentum. And then once that was gone, it was all Keys. So she's got to get off to a better start because Shviontek doesn't really lose momentum like that. Shviontek's going to win this one. She also needs to get off to a good start and win that first set. Because against her dad's mind, she was up four one she did lose the first set but once she won the uh, lost that first set it was all over after that so she could have got through in the last match in straight sets but with keys when she does get the momentum as we saw against Jabur, it can get a bit dangerous so she wants to stamp that out early with some aggressive ground strokes really fun matchup hopefully keys can continue on this momentum in this form and especially with these Madrid courts, push Fiontech, but I gotta go with Fiontech in this one in a close three setter. I think Keys might be able to win the first set, but Fiontech will fight back to win and make it to the final again. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.